nights ago. So hopefully it'll be a pretty good night to watch. Tropical Storm Fred, we will get into that again, and we've been talking a lot about Fred. We were talking about its structure, just starting to see it kind of gather a few clouds and not so much an exposed western side as it's about to cross over Espanola, which of course is the Dominican Republic and Haiti. Then it will move around in north of Cuba, and this is the range where we've been saying it might try to increase in intensity a little bit. In the next day or so, it might actually fall from a tropical depression or storm back to a depression. It's winds will probably weaken as it has not only the land interaction, but also some wind shear and also some dry air. Models have been in pretty good consensus and are thinking for the weekend steering is still the same, a kind of weakness in the ridge, a high out to our west and northwest, kind of weakening a bit and following this high around off to the north. I did want to point out here is where Fred's moisture is right now and look at all this dry air, some dry air out here over north of Cuba too. some actually right off the coast of Florida. So we will see if that plus some wind shear, which has been coming in and kind of making it not quite as strong as maybe it could be at this point. All of these things are going to play a role, but once it gets into this part of the Gulf, that's when it might intensify maybe to a stronger tropical storm and not out of the question to see it become perhaps a low end hurricane, but time to see how that develops. Notice most of the rain and any impacts would be off to the middle and really more toward the um, eastern side of the storm that would leave us with little to no impacts from Fred. So we will continue watching really closely. This is how it's looking right now. And again, kind of nice to see the consistency in the model runs, especially as far as that track has been concerned, even over the past several days and likely moving into the end of this week too. All right, we're all watching it. Thanks so much, Alexander.